the subject of this video is after you've taken all these street photographs what do you do? What do you do with them? Well, part of it has to do with what is your goal? Uh, is your goal to make money? Is your goal to show it to other people? Or, you know, what, what after you take the picture, what, it's, what is it all about? In my case, I wanted others to see it, so I I have a web page that I have uh, I have my stuff out there, and uh, every uh, every web host has these little counters. So, like, if somebody clicks on my my web page, I get a little tick, and uh, you can see how many people every day are looking at your photography. To me, that's that's feedback. That's you know, I like that. Probably you know that's probably the way I like it. I can show my stuff, and other people can see it, strangers and whatnot. And then one day I said, I'm getting a lot of hits, but is this stuff any good? <laughs> that holds, opens up a whole new avenue. So uh, I have a couple of photography friends, and they said, why don't you take uh, some of your stuff down to this gallery? It was a little, it was out of town, but they knew the gallery. They, they'd been there before. So um, my friend helped me pick three of the, uh, canvas prints I made and I, I took it to this gallery. It was a juried show and uh, you know, hung them up on the wall. There was a lot of stuff in this place. They had big rooms and they had a upstairs I guess and I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea what to expect and, and I was actually shocked. I put I sent three things down I got three ribbons. I was like whoa it must you know maybe that means that I have some good stuff, or at least those three were good. <laughs> so uh, that made me feel good, and that should have been the end to it. But then there was a gallery that opened up about five miles from my house. I didn't have to travel, you know, 45 minutes. So it was a juried show. So I took three down there, and uh, when they had the opening, I went down, and there's only one was hanging on the wall. I says, geez, you know, I, I, I thought I had three winners, and uh, only one was hanging on the wall. I had two rejects. So, uh, uh, I went down a little bit later to retrieve my rejects, and uh, the guy there said, yeah, I work here, and I had two things, and neither of them made the cut. And by the way, this juried show was not a juried show for ribbons or money. It was just... The jury part was picking, <laughs> picking uh, from your submission one they're going to hang on the wall. So I said, "Gee, you think if I went down to the gallery of the judge and maybe they and, and maybe they could help me? I would like to learn. You know, if two didn't make it, why didn't they make it?" So he said, "No, you don't want to do that." <laughs> so, so I got home and I started thinking about it. And I went on the internet and I just said, well, let me look at the first gallery. I looked at the judges. And the judges, they were photographers. <clears throat> they were professional photographers. That's what they did for a living. I said, okay, now what about the second judge where I had these, these failures, you know? And uh, it turns out this particular judge did not do photography at all. Had a little bit of... Uh, work in uh, painting, but a lot of her stuff was putting things together. Like she would have some kind of a, a frame and she'd have little chains hanging on it and jewels and odds and ends and, and things all kind of put together. And uh, it was very interesting stuff, but there was nothing at all uh, to do with photography. And as I looked around at the gallery, it was just me and another person had something hanging on the wall. It was a photograph. Everything else was, uh, you know, kind of uh, specialized stuff, which is, hey, it's just not my thing, but maybe part of it had to do with that. So, uh, the other part is, in terms of making money, um, I never thought of making money. I just, that's, I'm retired, so I do this as a fun hobby. And so here's one of the... Here's one of the guys that was rejected on the, 
on the gallery and I kind of like this one um, It was like an introspection, you know, the, the young guy's walking with his little baby and he's probably thinking, you know, this is, she's my responsibility now, you know, so I, I thought it was pretty good. But the judge did not, and uh, the other part of it is if, if, you look at, if you look at that photograph in terms of money, how many people are going to hang that in their living room? And the answer is probably zero. So a lot of the street photography is totally different than landscape and birds and food and whatnot. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I, I haven't, I haven't been to anybody's house where this kind of stuff is hanging on the wall. In fact, in most of the galleries that I've looked at, uh, there's hardly any street photography. So it's um, kind of a specialized thing. But now on the internet, on YouTube, there's lots of stuff out there on street photography. A lot of good stuff, too. I mean, I really, I'm really happy that there is a YouTube because I, I get a lot of enjoyment looking at other people's things. So, to me, that's, uh, that's you know, just the fun of taking it. Uh, so, I went to two galleries, and then I found a place locally that um, would just let you display. It was not a juried show. It was just, you know, bring it in, we'll hang it up. So I want to show you a little video of, uh, of that and then I'll, I'll get back to finish. Well, you've seen the short video on uh, some of my canvas prints that were hanging at the uh, at the art center. I get I got kind of lucky in a way. Um, when they asked for submissions, they only put you know three or four from each person. But it happened that uh, the the day they wanted submissions, it was a snowy, icy day, and it was really a rotten day. And I live nearby, so. I came down and uh, I realized they didn't have, you know, too many submissions. So I said, do you want more stuff? So they said, yeah. So I went back home, got a few more. And then about, I don't know, four or five days later, I went back and it was still kind of lean. So I said, well, you want a couple more? Yeah, sure. So I ended up getting a dozen hung up on the wall. And uh, I guess I was very lucky that the weather was in my favor. Uh, now, this particular art center did not have a juried show. Uh, they had no awards. It was just for people in the public to, to take a look, and that was all I needed. I do enjoy getting feedback from uh, my web pages, the, the counts that I get. Some people leave messages. Um, now, as far as making money, I don't know if anybody's making any money. I saw a video on YouTube where a gentleman said that uh, he was submitting his work to one of these stock photography outfits. I guess you uh, you post things there and maybe somebody that has a magazine or a book or a calendar or something will be perusing these things and uh, if they hit your uh, if they hit your picture and like it, you get some money. Although, I don't think you get a lot of money. I know that uh, another friend of mine does stock photography in terms of food. And uh, uh, she makes a few bucks doing that. Especially if somebody, you know, uses the picture in a, in a national magazine or something. You can make a couple bucks that way. But uh, um, so far, nobody's making any, any money uh, doing street photography. And... Uh, you go to people's houses and they have things hanging on the wall. You have paintings hanging on the wall. You have some photography. You have uh, family. You have uh, 
landscapes, but how many people have street photography hanging on the wall? I haven't seen any yet. Uh, now I know in uh, in New York City, a big you know big city with lots and lots of galleries, there probably is an outlet for somebody to put street photography, and maybe they sell it. I don't know that. I do not know. But for my interest, I'm retired. I don't I don't care to to pursue the money angle of it. I just enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, most of the people that I uh, see on the on YouTube all have the same goal. They just want to have fun and show other people, you know, with the social media and maybe their own web pages or Facebook or wherever they uh, get to, to share their work. And to me, that's, that's it. If you're having fun, man, that's it. So thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.